by the time uh, human beings are two, three, four, five years of age, they are already have circulating antibodies against this substance, new 5GC, which it can't make on its own. Now, you might be asking, well, why is this important? Well, this goes back to a study back in 2005 titled The Mechanism of Uptake and Incorporation of Non-Human Sialic Acid and Glycol Neuraminic Acid into Human Cells. This is the GC that they're referring to. In other words, is it possible that GC can get into the human body? And the answer to that is yes. And what they showed is that here they have something called high-performance liquid chromatography. They can put the sample into a chromatograph and see when the different peaks come off. And AC here is in blue. That's what we normally see in humans. And GC here is in red. And so we can see here that a non-fed or just a new 5-AC fed human is going to have a spike here with AC. And then when it is fed, GC, we actually have two spikes. And what should that tell you? That tells you that if a human being eats an animal that makes GC, what happens is that GC is absorbed into the body and that the body utilizes that sialic acid GC as if it were AC and puts it onto the cellular surface and incorporates the GC into the cells of the human body. It comes in from the diet, it is absorbed through macropenocytosis, goes to the lysosomes, it then goes through into the Golgi apparatus, and then it gets placed and put onto the surface of the cells. So again, to review, 5-GC is a sialic acid that's only found in animals, but if a human eats those animals, then the GC, regardless of how well it is cooked, will be incorporated into the cell surface of the human cells, even though it doesn't produce its own GC.